एवरी वन टूडे नाउ विद द एंजाइम आफ्टर द एंजाइम एक्शन नाउ वी कम टू द एंजाइम इनिबिशन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल ओनली लर्न अबाउट एंजाइम दैट इज रिवर्सिबल इनिबिशन ओनली रिवर्सिबल इनिबिशन वी विल सी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी अबाउट द irreversible inhibition and feedback and allosteric inhibition okay so today we start with the enzyme that also uh, reversible inhibition now an enzyme action we have seen that enzyme e combines with substrate as and a temporary enzyme substrate complex is formed which is then converted into product formation and this enzyme is released as it is and it starts the other reactions now enzyme inhibition what is inhibition there are some substances which alter their activity uh, activity of enzyme these substances are known as inhibitors and the action of these inhibitors are known as inhibition so the compound can bind reversibly or irreversibly to a specific enzyme and alter the activity of this enzymes and therefore they are known as inhibitors and their process and the process is known as inhibition so enzyme inhibition we see it is of two types that is reversible inhibition and irreversible inhibition reversible inhibition again is of three type that is competitive inhibition non competitive inhibition and uncompetitive inhibition irreversible is again also of three types that is reactive substrate analog inhibition group specific inhibition and suicidal inhibition so today we will only see all these three types that is reversible inhibition now reversible inhibition reversible inhibitor bind to enzyme through non covalent bond so that's why it is easily from the physical means only it can be removed from the system it can be washed out of the solution by of enzyme by dialysis it is of again two types that is competitive non competitive and in competitive inhibition now the competitive inhibitor it forms a enzyme e with the substrate as it forms a in enzyme substrate complex and this complex is then produced into product and enzyme e but in presence of inhibitor this competitive inhibitor it com completely or it is similar to the substrate so it competes for active site where the enzyme substrate binds and it forms a complex that is known as enzyme inhibitor complex this complex does not produce product so the complex ei is formed rather than es instead of this es ei is formed and substrate are prevented from binding and examples of such inhibition are dihydrofolate reductase by methotrexate methotrexate tablet it is uh, it is used for cancer treatment this uh, substance inhibits dihydrofolate reductase enzyme enzyme xanthine oxidase is inhibited by allopurinol it is allopurinol is a medicine used for um, gout that is uric acid so it inhibits uric acid production so it inhibits xanthine oxidase enzyme enzyme hmg coenzyme a reductase this enzyme is responsible for the synthesis of cholesterol so this enzyme is inhibited by the drugs which are used in cholesterol to reduce cholesterol they are mevalonolin and lovastatin they inhibit this enzyme and and in this way cholesterol synthesis is inhibited then the effect of enzyme inhibition in competitive inhibition we can see that substrate molecule a compete for active site if inhibitor binds there then there will be no product formation and if substrate binds there then the uh, 
uh, enzyme substrate complex will be formed and so the product so it actually resembles the substrate structure and therefore it occupies the space active site now in competitive inhibition it resembles substance it bounds and it is not converted but not converted by the enzyme here you can see the these two curves you can see the red curve is shown for inhibition and green curve is you can see where vm and km appears higher for inhibited if it is inhibited then km curve is higher you can see this is the km this is the km value where the v maximum it is the half of the v maximum that concentration is known as km this km concentration you can see if it is not inhibited then the concentration is less whereas if it is inhibited the concentration is high and in the same way higher the slope of km is seen in this curve also so if the concentration of a substrate is increased the inhibition is decreased if the concentration is increased the substrate uh, the inhibition is decreased the inhibition is reversible so increase km value that is the f decrease affinity of enzyme to its substrate now the effect of enzyme inhibition we can see simple example that is of tca cycle that is succ succinate dehydrogenase you can see succinate the structure of succinate is this it resembles to melon uh, melano melonate but this melonate is competitive inhibitor of succinate so fumarate is formed so if succinate if this enzyme succinate binds to this enzyme then fumarate will form but if this melonate will bind to this succinate dehydrogenase enzyme then fumarate will not form so it competitively inhibits succinate dehydrogenase now in competitive inhibition we can uh, simply understand the mechanism how it occurs so if this is an enzyme e and this is a substrate s this substrate s it binds at the active site this notch is known as is a uh, active site of an enzyme when it binds over there then the product will be formed when this enzyme substrate complex is formed this then breaks down into enzyme and product enzyme is released as it is and product is formed but instead of is this substrate this substrate resembles inhibitor or you can say inhibitor resembles substrate and therefore instead of substrate this inhibitor binds at this enzyme and it forms an enzyme inhibitor complex when this complex is formed then there is no product formation the reaction is inhibited and the process is known as inhibition this is competitive inhibition where there is competition between substrate and inhibitor for the active site now the second that is non competitive reversible inhibition this non competitive these are not influenced by the concentration of substrate so here the substrate concentration does not vary and it does not inhibit or it does not bind at the active site so there is no competition between enzyme and inhibit uh, sorry substrate and inhibitor for the active site of an enzyme so this type of inhibition is known as non competitive inhibition here majority of this heavy metal poisoning or uh, heavy metal poisoning like mercury and silver it, it combines with thio group in that case uh, the active site is free for the substrate to bind so here you can see enzyme binds with substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and then it forms enzyme and product but when inhibitor non competitive inhibitor it binds with the enzyme to form enzyme inhibitor complex and but the active site is free so substrate will bind and it will form substrate uh, enzyme substrate inhibitor complex in the same way when enzyme substrate complex is formed it again has a site 
uh, free site for the inhibitor because it bites binds other than the active site so inhibitor binds and it forms an enzyme substrate inhibitor complex now with the diagram you will understand better so if this is enzyme e this is substrate s this substrate s binds to enzyme at the active site and it forms enzyme substrate complex but this enzyme and also this enzyme is free for the inhibitor to bind some other place other than the active site and their complex is formed is known as enzyme inhibitor complex now it is an active site is free for substrate to bind and in that way substrate will bind here and it will form enzyme substrate inhibitor complex in the same way when the enzyme substrate complex is formed it can again now bind with the inhibitor to form enzyme substrate inhibitor complex so such type of inhibition is known as non competitive inhibition now in the non competitive inhibition you can see uh, red is the inhibited uh, graph and green is non inhibited graph the inhibition is not reversed by increasing concentration of substrate you can see the concentration of substrate is not increase it is same but v is change you can see v is change and v maximum is reduced you can see in non inhibited the v maximum was here but now the v maximum is here only so the half that is uh, half the v maximum is changed so v is decreased related to decreasing of active enzyme reversibly only if the inhibitor is not bound by covalent bond if it is not bound by covalent bond then it will be reversible and if it is bound by covalent bond then it will be no irreversible now the last one is uncompetitive inhibitor in uncompetitive inhibitor uh, it can bind only to the enzyme substrate complex it does not bind to the enzyme it binds to the enzyme substrate complex uh, example you can see herbicide gly glyphosate known as roundup is an uncompetitive inhibitor or enzyme in the biosynthetic pathway of aromatic amino acid in bacteria but in non toxic it but is non toxic in animals because they lack this enzyme so it forms enzyme substrate complex and then only this inhibitor binds it does not bind to this enzyme and such type of inhibition is known as uncompetitive inhibitor you can understand by the this example that this, this enzyme it will not bind to the in inhibitor but it first binds to the substrate and active site is filled up and now inhibitor binds to this and this is known as enzyme substrate inhibitor complex is formed so thank you very much you can also watch my other videos about the irreversible inhibition and enzyme action so please like share and subscribe thank you